What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man today been a day man but y'all see i should have uh i should have filmed it man i could have gave y'all the whole video i thought about it afterward but i didn't man i was just focused on getting the junk done but i've been messing with big dolo today but today man we're going to pick up my little bro s10 they're going over to uh rick about to get it in so if he ready to show it man i'm gonna show y'all that that's really what the vlog about show him some love and all that and i gotta show y'all what i got for the truck man i picked up another part for the truck still just keep coming in so y'all already know just stay tuned I'm gonna get to it all right y'all we taking back in man look at it now i'm starting the part pile over here man part pile over here now the one forming over here that's why i said i got to get this stuff out of here i got to but boom did what i got new cooling fan for the truck the truck got a decent fan on it. It ain't nothing special, though. Oh, I can tell you. It's just a regular electric fan. Uh, do it keep it cool? Yeah. It's decent. But have I put in some real miles on it? Really put in traffic set still and all that? No. So, I had to take some back to something. So, I came back with some. So, y'all know I love the Riley. I've been telling them, man, they need to get at me. <laughs> hey, man, y'all need to get at me. Stop playing. But anyway, man, I'm just playing. But, uh... Nah, they do for real. They need to. Cause I, I love these folk products, man. They got good product. That's why I keep talking about them. Regardless of if they sponsor me or not or whatever. Sponsor video. It don't matter because they make good stuff, though. Yeah, Y'all know that car. Ever since I tried it on Big Dolo, I done put the Riley on everything. It's just like I use Showtime Transmission on everything. Certain companies, I just got to have. And uh, I got these same fans on my uh, S10. Not S10. On my uh, Camaro. Look at wife right there, y'all. World, world's strongest woman. <laughs> look, look, show him. Hit, hit him with a flat one time. Woo -hoo. But now, nah, <laughs> y'all go subscribe, man. But uh, days with Kendra. But now, nah, I got this same fan on the Camaro. I got same fan on John Jones. Two of them. These are uh, these are uh, uh pushers, pusher, pusher fans. So they push the the air across with well, pullers. My bad. They pull the air from the outside, push it through the uh uh through the what's that? No pushers. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting confused. These are pushers. Well, this one you can make it a pusher or a puller. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. But what I'm trying to say is on on uh John Jones, I got them set up as pusher fans. Pullers are when it's on the uh back side of the radiator in front of the engine. That's a puller. It's pulling the air through the radiator. A pusher pushes the air through the radiator. So uh I do a video going in depth on that. People don't understand different, but there are different in electric fans sometimes you can reverse the fans and uh make them either or but these right here universal you can flip them make it a puller or you can make it a pusher they move 2200 to 2250 cfm i think it's 2200 which is more than enough cfm uh my my fans on big dolo the the riders on big dolo with the fan shroud they the they the top of the top of the line this and that they move 4000 cfm when both of them running if you hook up the AC switch, which I'll be hooking up, um, it'll, it'll just run on one fan. I really, one fan is enough to keep that car cool. Uh, but like I said, I run the Riley relays, everything. I run it. When I get the fans, I run that relay. Like when I get the AC switch, I'm going to run the Riley AC switch. It just worked better, man. So we're going to Riley on the truck. Uh, I'm going to also upgrade the alternator which uh i ain't decide what amperage i wanted so i i was kind of in a rush to get back so i wasn't trying to stay long uh so i will be buying the power master alternator though they put on the truck uh, it ain't gonna hurt because i'm gonna be going to leds too they use a little more wattage than a standard halogen and other little stuff like that so you know but yeah this is what we got in for the truck man so right so far we got 
We got LED bulbs. The lenses will be here next week, Monday, I think. We got new front bezels, side marker lights. We got new tail lights, which one of them we got in. The door and the fender actually coming tomorrow too. I set up the delivery. Brand new door and fender be here tomorrow. And I found a truck bed, which I'm gonna basically just use the skin off of. And that'll be all the parts for the truck with the exception of the front bumper. I seen the little ding, so I'm gonna get the front bumper, which I already located that too. Then the truck will be all the way ready. We got the new shifter in, thanks to Rick. New shifter is in the truck. I have tested it out. Worked like a, the truck fast. <laughs> nah, it's quick. It's a quick little truck, man. It's all right. It's a quick little truck, though. Uh, I, it do go to load now. Like I said, shifter was faulty. We got that situated. So now we can go to dyno. We can go to track. All that good stuff. Another thing. These are DOT approved radios. So when I take it to the track, I'm going to try those out. I'm not looking for them to completely hook. So I'm going to take the, uh, look at that, them covers, man. I told y'all they cover waterproof, man. You see that water just sitting in there. I'm on track, but I'm telling y'all these some good covers, man. People be asking why I get them. The link is in the description of every video. I told y'all these things waterproof and UV resistant, which means they protect it from the sun. They protect your paint from fading. Look at that water just sitting there. But uh, as I was saying, though, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna also take the slicks, which I use on the Cutlass on R&B. Y'all know I just use it for ride racks, and that's the only reason I bought them. But I'm gonna take the actual 26 inch slicks just in case, and uh, we'll see what them do. And it should bite. So, all right, that's the update on that. Now I'm finna get this uh, trailer hooked up and wait on my little bro to call me. And uh, we're gonna head over and grab the truck. So y'all stay tuned. Hey, y'all look at that on the money. Bagging up one time. Hey, man, y'all remember? Look, I'd be proud of myself, man. Y'all remember when I first got this trailer? I told y'all, boy, I wasn't the best at bagging up. Man, I handle the trailer like a pro now. But some stuff, man, you learn. You just, that how, that's all I know, too. School is hard not. You just have to go out there and do it. You just, you just got to do it, man. You just got to do it. And that's how you learn. Don't put yourself in no predicament where you can't get out of it, though. But, oh, excuse me, y'all. But uh, sometimes you just gotta do it, man. I be proud of myself, man. This smile to some people, well, you know, I be bagging up, bagging up one shebang, just boom, pulling hill back up the driveway. I mean, you keep doing it, man. You just it nothing. So we're gonna get this whole thing hooked up and uh, wait for him to call and we'll head out, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. We checking in, man. <laughs> My little bro, <laughs> we just gotta work out. Y'all just missed. <laughs> Y'all just missed it, but you know, I said I gotta get that winch, man. I got to get that winch. But uh this the dying project coming. He said he said he gave me the green like I can show y'all, man. Cause it's gonna look very different anyway, ain't it? Yeah. It's gonna look way different after. So y'all ain't, ain't gonna recognize. Did you try again? Man, ain't nobody talking to you. <laughs> but uh see you talking, y'all. This the dying project, man. Both of us got these dimes. So y'all know we run this year. Y'all already know. Got a little pressure. Uh, on the hood, going hood scoop on the thing. You know it. I'm gonna go with the two inch. Two inch, two inch hood, man. Thing gonna be clean. You know we got to put the LEDs in. Oh, yeah, you know it. LED got to you get see, the. You already got the new embezzlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to put the Look, the pretty eyes light. on. Yeah, he already got the side light. Wait, we on the same page. You know it. We on the same page. <laughs> Look. Brand new tail light. New tail. Brand new tail light. He already got some shoes for this thing too and everything, y'all. Y'all see them later. Nice little, nice little dime, man. Nice little dime. We got this thing loaded up though. Finna strap it down right quick. See if we can beat the uh keep beat the sunlight. Y'all see the cloud. We just got a mean shower now. Right. When I pull it up, boy, it was pouring down out here. So yeah, man, we got this thing loaded up. Finna strap it down. Then we headed to uh go see Slick Rick. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all checking in, man. Checking in. Successful drop off over here at uh, Rick How got it dropped off. We ain't going over there to show y'all on the hood yet, cause like I said, I don't know. Little bro want to show on the hood. What y'all see? That everything. Big boy ready at it. Flow shifting. Whole nine, man. Y'all ready, ready to go. So he gonna get all this thing set up and all that. So sliding back glad. So you know, high torch starter is it. 
I think we're in here too already. So, you know, hold nine, y'all. Good drop off. So, y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all, we checking in, checking in, man. Back at the house. Uh, we just out there kicking that rig house. Then I seen them lightning strikes, and I was like, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. So I gave y'all a quick little vlog, man, mainly because I want to show my little bro some love because he got the S10 project coming, man. I want to put that on the vlog, put that on video, show y'all what he coming with because y'all know I'm going to show all my fam and all of that. And uh, just always showing love and uplifting. So his project about to be real nice. Then you got Rick on the ones and two getting it right. So you know it's going to be A1, no steak sauce and all that. So uh, let me see what, what we got tomorrow, what we got. I should have recorded that. Man, I should have recorded what I had to do to get that, that uh, lug nut and that wheel stud out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the picture so y'all can see what type of time it really was on. So y'all seeing that, man, I'm telling you, I had I had to go buy some cobalt drill bits. Not the brand, that's the material. Cobalt, man. So, you know, you got the titanium, you got the cobalt. I got the titanium, they just went doing the job, man. I had to drill through that thing. The last time it happened, I was able to bend it and break the actual stud off. But I don't know what them stud made out of. That thing would not break. So I spent an hour, probably like an hour and 10, hour 15 minutes drilling. Went through about three drill bits, man. Cause even after so much, they gonna get dull. I had to drill that much, man. I had a pile of metal. So Dolo put up a fight. So if it's sunny tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rotor on there, the new rotor, man, just for peace of mind. And then after I do all that, we might y'all might see that thing mounted up and all that. So you know, y'all just stay tuned, cause we gotta get some parts. Oh, we got parts coming tomorrow. Um, we gotta get parts for wife car and. We gotta get a truck bed. So yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned, man. It's a little quick little vlog. I'ma catch y'all later. BCG, we out.